And now, Agnes, you are going to <laughs> reveal to us what the next update is. Yes. Okay. So the next update is called the wild update. <laughs> Uh, let's actually look at some of the new things that we have in it right now, which is the ancient cities. That's awesome. I can't wait. Oh, wow. Skulk Catalyst. And the main thing about the Skulk Catalyst is it's actually what causes the Skulk to spread. As you can see here, whenever a mob dies, such as a zombie, near the Skulk Catalyst, it actually spreads Skulk underneath it. And the amount is based on how much XP that zombie would have dropped. And then we have the Skulk Shrieker. <laughs> so when this block is activated, Mm -hmm. It's going to give that really scary shriek sound that you hear, heard now. And it also gives this darkness effect, so it's like pulsating darkness. You can even see now when you're sneaking and you step on a skulk sensor, even sneaking it will activate for the warden spawns in a unique way and also in a way that you can avoid it. So usually you can kind of sneak around and as long as you don't activate the uh, Skulk Shriekers, then the warden won't come. But if you do make too many noises and the Skulk Shrieker activates too many times, the warden will come. So we want to like celebrate the wilderness of Minecraft and one thing we want to focus on is immersion. So when you play Minecraft we really want you to feel that you're inside the Minecraft world. Actually like we are now, <laughs> it's so beautiful. And we also have, want to focus or have focused on biome diversity. So we want to find like a unique identity for different biomes. For example, the birch forest, as you can see in this beautiful concept art. So in the birch forest, we want it to be like light and peaceful and the sun reaches the ground, the trees are taller and the flower, flowers, things like that. It's really beautiful. It looks very Swedish in the birch forest. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's actually a very Swedish forest. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And then you have, so... You want to add more atmosphere to the different biomes, but there's one biome that you want, I mean, I would say you're giving it quite an overhaul. It's getting a lot more in the wild yes, update. Yes, that's true, and that's the swamp. 
the first of which is the boat with the chest in it. And relaxing. It's, it's really, really nice. amazing. And you've been working on what I think now will be my favorite tree in Minecraft. Yes, we are adding the mangrove tree to Minecraft. So as you can see here, this is a propagule. And propagules grow from mangrove trees. They're actually like ready to grow uh, mangrove, mini mangroves <laughs> growing from the mangrove. And you can see here, the mangrove tree grows propped up on root blocks. It uh, has vines hanging down from the leaves. The propagules are actually growing underneath the leaves. Where there's a new tree, there must be a new wood type. Yes, the mangroves do come with a new wood type. And like always when we add a new tree, we are so happy, like we get so many questions from the community like, will there be a new wood type? <laughs> and, and therefore we're so happy that we were able to add a new wood type for the mangroves. And look at it, I think it's really pretty. And you also don't see like all the blocks here. It's gonna be like a full set for the wood types. It's gonna be like doors and trap doors and so on. Hmm, why don't I just make a mangrove swamp biome where I'm completely surrounded by them? So as you can see in this video, walking around, you're just completely surrounded in the mangrove swamp. It's just mangroves as far as the eye can see, just like in real life. And you have all the mangroves propped up on their roots, growing in the water, so you can take your boat underneath like Agnes <laughs> likes. That's amazing. So you've actually added mud to do something really cool. Yeah, so we're adding really cool renewability mechanics to mud. The first of which is if you take a dirt block and pour a water bottle on it, then you can get more mud. And then the other one is if you take your mud block and you stick it on top of the dripstone, it will sort of like drip the water out of the mud and eventually dry it out, which turns into clay. And you're also using mud to make a new block. Yes, we're also adding mud bricks. So mud bricks are a really, really exciting like building block. And as you can see here, the, the brick texture is actually different than the other stone bricks that we have in the game. So they're sort of smaller, more compact. We definitely need something very cute. Yes, well, very cute and quite derpy because we're adding frogs. And you're adding another little, little tiny creature Itty to this bitty. update. <laughs> yes, the fireflies. So you can see them roaming around, adding a lot of ambience to the swamp, making it feel just nice and cozy at night. But really, my favorite part of them is just making the world come to life, like feeling like there is life going on all around you. And <gasps> oh yeah, also their frog food. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to mention that, their frog food. I want to know more about baby frogs. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so, you know, old baby mobs in Minecraft are just like tiny versions of the grown-ups, but with frogs, we're actually adding tadpoles. Once again, you deliver on the promise of cute and derpy with the tadpoles. We do. <laughs> yes, and you can pick them up in a bucket. Yes, and that's actually extra helpful for the tadpoles because we have frog variants and when a tadpole grows up, it will pick a variant depending on the temperature in the biome it grows up in. So for example, if it grows up in a really cold place, it's going to turn into a snowy frog. Yeah, as you can see here. So the frogs have kind of like two main systems. One is the tadpole system and the other one is the cold-blooded system. So the frogs are like the first cold-blooded animal in Minecraft. And in real life, there actually are frog variants that pick a color uh, depending on, like, or they adapt <laughs> their color <laughs> depending on temperature. That's so cool. And, and we, there are three variants. Yes, there's going to be three okay, variants. Okay, so we've seen two. What's the third one? The third one is the tropical frog. Yes. 
So let's say you were venturing out into the desert or the jungle and you take your, your tadpole with you and if it grows up there, it'll turn into a lovely tropical frog. You have these different color variations, but you also have something else special about the frogs. Yes, so each frog variant can have something unique that will be useful for the players. But we actually don't even know what that is yet because we are working on the frogs right now. Now it's time to see what mob you chose to add to the game. Uh, hey Jens, do you have the results? Yes, I have them right here in my chest. <gasps> wow! Very exciting. You really came in style. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Thank you so much. That looked really comfortable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, but now it's time to announce the winner. Okay, and the winner is the LA. Wow. Yes, I'm super happy about that. It's, it's a lovely, lovely mob. That is so, so exciting. So Agnes, when can everyone expect the LA? So the LA will be included in the Wild Update and it's going to be released next year. Next year, the Wild Update with the LA. I can't wait.